Hi, welcome to yet another video and in this video we will be learning to differentiate a uh, different type of a function using chain rule and we are also going to introduce uh, our next method of uh, differentiation which is product proof. Now, we already learned how to differentiate trigonometric function, hyperbolic functions, exponential functions and logarithmic functions but we did not get to learn how to differentiate powers of trigonometric functions for example um, so we are still continuing with the chain rule for example given y is equal to psi cubed 3 theta find ui dv here you have three functions. This is a function of a function of a function. Because we have the outermost function, which is the cube function. Then the, in a, the second function is the sine function. And the outermost function is 3 theta. So we have a function of a function of a function which we can differentiate using chain rule. How do we go about this? We say that, that the innermost function, u to be equal to three theta, which means y to be equal to sine cubed u. But still we have the sine function being inside the cube function. So that we can go ahead and say that, that t is equal to sine u. So now we can say y is equal to sine cubed u, which we can we know we can say is sine u to the power three. That's why still we are saying the sine function is inside the cube function. And now we know sine u is t, so that we can now say y is equal to t cubed so that this is the outermost function y equal to t cubed next function is t which is equal to sin u and the innermost function is u which is equal to 3 t so that now dy d theta will be a product of those three will be a product of the derivatives of those three functions. Uh, so we need to differentiate y with respect to t to get dy to get dy dt. We also need to differentiate t with respect to u to get dt du and we also need to differentiate u with respect to theta to get du Theta. Notice if you cancel here dt and dt and du and du will be left with dy d theta, which is what you want to divide it. If y is equal to t cubed, what is dy dt? If we differentiate here, you get dy dt. If you differentiate t cubed with respect to t, that one is 3 t cubed times here we differentiate sine u with respect to u that one will be cosine cosine of u and finally if you differentiate 3 theta with respect to theta it will be 3 so that if you do the product this will be 9 t cubed this 3 and this 3 9 t cubed cosine of u cosine of u so divide the divide the theta but here there is a small mistake we differentiate t cubed with respect to t to be 3 t squared I didn't notice that so this would be 
squared squared we have 90 squared so the, we know t is sine mu so this is 9 sine u squared times cosine of u is that binary what is the value of u the value of u is 3 we put it in this manner sine squared but u is 3 theta cosine of 3 theta cosine of 3 theta but we can start by writing the one with the rest palm if you want but it's not a must cos 3 theta sine squared 3 theta but this is not a must so don't have to do that this method is product rule This method use to differentiate a function uh, which consists or which is a, a function which is a product of two or more two or more differentiable two or more differentiable functions g if you are given y is equal to x cubed sine two x x cubed sine 2 x notice here x on its own can be differentiated with respect to x no. x cubed on its own can be differentiated with respect to x to get to get 3 x squared sine 2 x on its own can be differentiated with respect to x to get 2 cosine of 2 x so why you have a product or a function y which is a product of two differentiable functions or even more use product rule but it don't go directly there i've done there i was just trying to show you this one is differentiable with respect to x and this one is differentiable with respect to x so if in that case you have such a function if If y is equal to u times v, where u is equal to a function of x, and v is also equal to a function of x, and v is equal to a function of x, then the derivative of y with respect to x if you take u the it is differentiate v with respect to x plus you take v the it is you differentiate u with respect to x but i like writing it in a more simplified way which is y prime y prime is the same as saying derivative of y with respect to x is equal to u v prime plus v here what do you have u prime i prefer this formula because i'm able to remember it more quickly so if we have an example then it will be easier for us to understand i have some past paper this time around you guys can move the, the uh, formula So we have October, November, certificate erect, we have certificate, certificate of craft, 
certificate in electric car. This is a October number 2021. October no 2021. Actually, we have two questions we can do here. The other one is at a chain, but the other we also do it. We have four eight. We have to determine. Determine whether that's exhibible. Dy dx dn one one y is equal to root of x cubed root of x cubed. This one you can solve it. Here you are not told the method that you are going to use, so it's upon you. I have to look at the question and decide if this is the uh, right method. So if you look at this one, this is. I can be solved using chain rule because you can see y is equal to x cubed power the half. Number two, we are given y is equal to x power 4 cosine of x. x power 4 cosine of x. Notice this one is a product of two differentiable functions. The first one is x power 4, the second one is cosine of x. So this one we should use product rule. You can see solution. We know the formula. dy dx is equal to u dv dx plus v u dx. Take either of them to be your u. Let us say that u to be equal to x power 4. Of course, we know we will need the u dx, which is 4 x power 3. What is v? v is equal to cosine of x. dv dx is equal to negative sine. Negative sine x. If you differentiate cosine, you get a negative sine. I think I should remove this now. So that when you bring everything together, dy dx, dy dx will be equal to u, which is x power 4, times dv dx, dv dx, which is equal to negative x, negative sin x. So at the start, they are negative. Then the x power 4, sin x, plus plus v, where v is cos x, times du dx, where du dx is 4 x cubed. Okay, you can factor out what? What is the common factor? Common factor is x power 3. x power 3, I will understand the positive. Uh, we have, let's put 4 here, 4, cosine of x, here we have a negative, negative. We have factored out x by 3, so we are left with x sine x and x. So that's how we go about that. And then in the next video, we'll solve one more example of differentiation by product proof, and then we introduce the third method of differentiation, which is quotient proof. If you have not watched the my first video, watch it in the links over here. Can get the link of the videos on trigonometry here if you need laplace transforms you can watch the videos in the link shown here or if you are in your daddy of study and you need videos on matrices uh, complex analysis fourier series and also numerical methods you can also watch them in the link shown here or in my video description here i uh, remember what you said in the first video neck is almost being phased out you are not sure how long it will take but this is the right time to try do all your reverse 